Hey, stalkers. I love you. So again this week, I kind of procrastinated, mostly because I was doing a lot of relaxing and reading. I started reading again, so I was doing a lot of reading. And I just kind of procrastinated. And then last minute, last night, I was like, shit, I gotta do a video again this week. So I tried to th quickly think of something. And I remember checking out a video a week or two ago called the small YouTuber tag. So I said, hey, why not? I'm still technically a small YouTuber. I can do this. So this is what I'm doing this week, the small YouTuber tag. So we we'll might as well get started. Question one, what inspired you to make YouTube videos? Honestly, I don't know what really inspired me to start making YouTube videos. It was probably other YouTubers. I just thought it was such a cool thing to do and I really wanted to do it. And I've been wanting to do it ever since I was in high school, but I was always trying to do it with someone and it didn't work out because the person either was ended up being a flake and not like pulling through or we just couldn't think of ideas or didn't have time to get together and do stuff. And then I tried again with a couple friends in college, but again, we started the video at the end of the school year. We are going to do it over the summer, but then it kind of just died off really fast and we didn't end up doing it. So then finally, when I was in my sec- So finally when I was in my third year of college, I decided to just try and do a YouTube channel by myself and see if I could do it. And I've been doing it ever since. Question two, how long have you been on YouTube and do you have any other channels? Um, I've been on YouTube, I think I created my account in Dece like late December 2012, and I started posting videos early January 2013, um, but it wasn't until May 2014 that I started actually monetizing my videos and trying to like make a good push with my YouTube channel and start and try and make money off it and hopefully turn it into a job someday. Um, I do have other channels, but they're not like for YouTube really like the one channel I have is for my production company so I can post videos on there and then my other one is like my very first YouTube account that I made that I just have a bunch of like school projects and random old videos on um, I don't really use it that often anymore um, sometimes if I just want to post like a video for like, a few friends then I'll post it on there but most of the time I use this channel Question three, where do you see yourself in your YouTube channel in five years? Right now, I don't know where I'll be in five years, but I hope that I'll be at least a little bit bigger on YouTube. Hopefully I'll have, in by five years, I'll have at least a thousand subscribers, hopefully a lot more. Ideally, I would like in five years to be well known on YouTube and be able to live off of money made from YouTube because that's something that I would love to do is just be a personality and talk to people and interact and entertain people. So that's the goal. We'll see if it happens. I'll have to come back in five years and revisit this video and see uh, if it came true. Question four, what message are you trying to get across with your videos? Um, I wouldn't really say that I'm trying to get across any specific message other than to be yourself, love who you are, be who you are, love everyone else for who they are, stop judging people. Um, and just honestly just have fun, like be yourself and have fun because that's something that I sometimes struggle with, especially when I'm in public doing videos, I'm always like self-conscious and wondering what people are thinking, but I'm trying to break out of that shell, so I want everyone else to do that as well. I don't want people to like take things too seriously, that's why I call you guys my stalkers because essentially you guys are somewhat stalking me online when you follow me and watch my videos and follow me on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and all that stuff. It's a form of stalking, so you know, that's why I call you guys my stalkers. Plus, it's, it's, it's catchy and kind of fun. Question five, do people from school find your channel? I feel like this question is more geared towards people like in high school and stuff like that, but yes, people in school did find my channel because I told them. Like, I wanted my friends to watch my channel. I wanted them to subscribe to me and like interact. Some of my friends thought it was cool, others didn't really say much about it. I still don't have that many people from school following me, but I don't talk to that many people from school anyways now anyways because we're all moved on to our different careers and things like that, so the few that I do keep in touch with still watch my videos, so that's all that matters. It goes from question 5 to question 7, so, okay, so technically question 6. What does your username mean? See, I don't really have a, I didn't have a specific meaning when I thought of my YouTube name. 
I was, when I decided that I was going to make a channel, I started brainstorming a bunch of ideas, trying to think of a really cool, catchy name. And I don't remember how, but I just came up with, don't fret, it's Brett TV. And I was like, hey, it rhymes, it works. And then I abbreviated it, and I was like, DFib TV. And I was like, hey, this can work, because the defibrillator gives you life. And I want to be entertaining and make people happy, so I'm giving them life by entertaining them. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah. So, yeah, so it worked out. I mean, there wasn't a big meaning when I initially created it, but I've kind of made it have meaning now. And a lot of people that when I broadcast on you now, or when I'm on you now and I visit people's channels, uh, like broadcast and stuff, and they see my username, like I probably, at least 9 out of 10 times, people were like, wow, I really like that name, it's really catchy. So I mean, I guess I was good in my branding in that sense. And the final question is, who is your favorite small YouTuber? And I'm not gonna lie, I honestly don't know very many small YouTubers. Um, I need, I decided that I need to start trying to reach out to more, like, smaller YouTubers and kind of build up a base of people that I know. But right now, I honestly don't know that many. There's a few that I know from broadcasting on you now, but there's not that many. Yeah, I just, I need to start reaching out and making more YouTube friends and trying to be more active in the community. I need to start commenting on videos. My problem is I don't watch a lot of YouTube videos. I'm trying to be a YouTuber, but I don't watch a lot of YouTube videos anymore. Like, what is that? Once I get through a little spurt of reading, I think I'm going to try and get back into watching more YouTube videos. So, we'll see. But yeah, so that's all for this week's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned a little bit about my channel, I guess. If you're a small YouTuber and you want to get in contact with me, comment down below. Even if you're not a YouTuber and you want to start conversations, comment down below. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. And even if you didn't like it, give it a thumbs up because you should be a rebel and just do it anyways. Don't forget to share my videos with everyone that you know and everyone that you don't know because I make these videos so that way you guys can share my videos with strangers because interactions with strangers is how you make new friends. Squirt, squirt, squirtle! Don't forget to check out over on this side where you can find last week's video where I attempted to do a do-it-yourself art project as well as last week's vlog where I had some fun out in nature. So go check those out. And don't forget to subscribe as well so you can see this face every Friday and Monday at 3 p.m. ish. Green juice!